Yes. Now that I have made my intro, let's celebrate. What the? What is that falling from the sky? Hey Alan and Tony. Guess what? We have some great news to tell you. What is it mom and dad? For Memorial Day weekend, we are going to Indianapolis to watch the Indy 500. Since Kyle Larson will be attempting to do the double along with the Coca-Cola 600. Yes. The Indy 500. I really hope for Kyle Larson to win the race. Yeah. Me too. I hope Pat Elwood wins the Indy 500. All right, family. You know the drill. Now, get your stuff packed. We will be gone for the weekend until Monday, but remember kids, you both have five strikes. If you lose them all, then you are grounded. Mom and Dad, why do we need a strike system? And what's the point of having it? Because Alan, you have been acting up so many times, we decided to do this to make sure you stay out of trouble. We don't want you causing our trip to go in disaster because of you, got it? All right, Mom and Dad. I promise I will behave. Jez. All right. Now that we have our luggage in the car, let's get going for Indianapolis. Hey, Mom and Dad. Can we watch Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse in the car on the way to Indianapolis? Of course you can, Tony. But Mom and Dad... I wanted to watch Batman instead, not Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Well, Alan, it looks like Tony has already chosen the movie first. You can pick a movie after he is done with this movie. But I wanted to watch Batman first before Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Alan, cut it out already. We are not watching Batman first, and that's the end of it. Now, cut it out right now. Yeah. I wanted to watch Batman. 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 Alan, stop dancing on the car like a five-year-old crybaby. You are disrupting everyone in the car, including me. No, not until you let me watch Bagman. Yeah. That's it, Alan. You just got your first strike. Four more and you're grounded. Fuck you, Tony. Make the two strikes now for swearing at your brother. All right, family, since we have been driving for two and a half hours, we are going to pull over to a Burger King restaurant that is going to be in our next exit. Ugh, finally, we are about to get off since we have been in the car for two and a half hours of driving. Hello. Welcome to Burger King. How may I take your order? I will have a Whopper meal with a large Coke, please. I will have the chicken sandwich meal with a zero sugar coke. I will have the chicken tenders meal with a Sprite. And I will have the kids meal with nuggets and french fries. Alan, are you kidding me right now? You are not getting the kids meal. You need to order something big for the road trip. You better order something else that is not from the kids menu. That's right Alan. And besides, you are way too old to order from the kids menu. You better order something else or else you get your third strike. Okay. I will order from the regular menu. I'll have a Whopper meal as well with a Coca-Cola. Jez.
All right, everyone. Now we are back at the road again. Now, let's finish up our road trip to Indianapolis. Everyone, great news. We are at Indianapolis. We have also found a hotel for us to stay at. Let's go there right now. All right, everyone. This will be our hotel for the rest of the trip. Kids, do you want to go to the pool while me and your father rest? Yes, ma'am. All right, everyone. But be careful in the pool and don't get hurt and absolutely no horseplay. Otherwise, you will get automatic strikes. Okay, mom and dad. Cannon Bob. Oh my. That was fun. I think I am going to go again. Alright kids, we now arrived at the indoor water park at Indianapolis since tomorrow is going to be the Indy 500. You better all be on your best behavior. Got it? Got, Got it. Oh boy, I cannot wait for the water bucket to drop. Alright sir, I want you to jump down head first. Are you ready to? Ah! Did I see this guy jump feet first? He could have gotten himself hurt. Ah. Hey? No jumping feet first in this pool. This pool is for professional divers only. That's it. Get out of the pool. Now. Alan. I cannot believe you went to the diving pool and landed feet first. You know you could have gotten yourself hurt for that, right? Mom and Dad. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know you can get injured for landing feet first on the diving pool. You better be. The instructor told you that you must land head first, you disobeyed the instructor and us, that's it, you just earned your third strike, two more and you're grounded. Alright everyone, the race is about to start. Oh my god, this race is so boring as hell. All we do is watch cars go around in circles. What should I do? I got the perfect plan. I am going to throw a can at the racetrack so I can cause a huge crash. Holy shit! I cannot see! Someone threw a can on my car! Oh no! I'm about to crash! Oh my god. That was a huge crash. I hope everyone was alright after that. Yeah, me too honey. I cannot believe that we saw those people crash. Ha 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 That was so funny. Especially when I... Alan, Paul, Miller. I know what you did. You threw a soda can at the track and caused this big wreck. Did you, huh? Tell us the truth right now. What do you mean, Tony? I didn't throw anything to the track, it was probably. Don't think that you can hide the facts and lie to your brother that you throwing the can at the track caused a huge wreck. Now you caused the race to throw out a red flag thanks to you. You were lucky none of the drivers got injured to that that's it you just got your fourth strike. One more and you're grounded. Alright. 
We are now under one lap to go and Pato Award is in the lead with Joseph Newgarden trailing behind him. Oh boy. I hope Pato Award wins. Joseph Newgarden won last year's Indy 500. That's right, Dad. If Joseph loses, then at least there's no need to win the same race again since he won the Indy 500 last year. Hey, Pato Award. Guess what? Fuck you. Fuck you so much. You suck ass at driving. At the Indy 500, your car ate way too much McDonald's and needs to take a shit. Kyle Larson is also sucks ass as well. Not to mention he cheated for a NASCAR championship. And Joseph Newgarden is one billion times better than you, bitch.